we talked about components of air control. We have air inlets and some fans. Exhaust fans, which means that these fans are responsible to uh, take the air out of the barn. And we have circulation fans in the middle of the barn. Circulation fans actually helps mixing the air inside the house to create more uniform air quality and temperature and also it helps to keep the litter dry. Again, when the litter is dry, we will not have ammonia problem. So, when we are talking about uh, exhaust fans, it depends on the ventilation system. We have sidewall fans, as Tara showed in her farm. So for cooler weather or younger birds, we can use, you know, sidewall fans, for example, in um, cross ventilation system. Also, we have tunnel fans. And I'll talk about tunnel ventilation in a moment. So in hot weather ventilation and during more moderate weather, we need tunnel fans, you know, to bring in air to control our house temperature. Air inlets, as you can see in this picture, there are several air inlets uh, on the wall and their openings, uh, their, the amount of their openings should be controlled because we're going to control the pressure the amount of pressure in the barn. So if we have low pressure, it means that the air will enter slowly. If we have a high pressure, air will enter quickly. So during cold weather, let's say during the winter, the uh, air should come quickly so we can shoot the air along the ceiling and get it warm before coming to the ground, as Tara mentioned in her video. So during the cold weather, we need to adjust the opening of these uh, air inlets and try to uh, open them just uh, less than, you know, um, in less amount, let's say, 10% of the total opening, full opening. So by that, you are going to have the air come through along the uh, ceiling, go to the middle of the barn, gets warm up, and then come to the ground. So when you are controlling the air pressure, because we are working in negative pressure, right? because uh, we are sucking the air through our exhaust fans and the air uh, comes through the air inlets. So when we are creating this uh, negative pressure, we need to measure that. We usually measure the air pressure using manometer, as you can see in this picture. And here you can see I'm measuring the um, uh, air pressure, static pressure, uh, in a barn, it was a broiler farm, and this is an individual uh, inlet, and I'm just measuring through uh, that inlet. So, in side in cross ventilation uh, system, we can have you know continuous inlets, as Tara showed in her video, and also we can have individual inlets, for example, for older birds uh, after brooding phase, and also during the summertime, we can use individual inlets as well. So, as a guideline, the static pressure should be between 0 0.07 to 0 0.12 inches of water, when you are measuring by manometer. So, you can, you know, go all the way up until 0 
inches of water in some situation. But remember, if you go beyond that, your fans will be under pressure and it's going to reduce the fan's life. And also, um, you're going to have, you know, improper uh, static pressure in the barn, which can affect the air ventilation and also the bird's performance. So it's really important to measure the static pressure. So, we talked about negative pressure ventilation to bring fresh air from outside. So we have cross ventilation as Tara showed. Also in this picture here, you can see the air is coming through these uh, individual inlets. And also here at the top, close to the ceiling, there is a continuous air inlet so air can come in and on the other side you can see there are fans side wall fans that can uh, exit the air and take it out also we have tunnel ventilation in this picture you can see uh, there are some exhaust fans on one side of the barn and on the other side on the a wall you can see there are some inlets so air can come th in and it can create you know an air flow and by the pressure that these fans exhaust fans are creating the air can come and uh, exit the barn so this method tunnel ventilation is really important during the warm weather because we want to keep our birds in the uh, comfort zone so to explain a little bit more about tunnel ventilation tunnel ventilation simply is having large exhaust fans on one end of the house and the large inlets at the other side so we need to pull the air from one end of the house to the other in less than one minute. So by that, we are going to exchange the total air in the house, which means that there should be less than four degree temperature difference between where the air comes in and where the air goes out. This is really important. It means that by tunnel ventilation, we want to create a uniform environment in terms of air temperature, especially during the warm weather. So, in addition, by doing uh, tunnel ventilation, we are creating wind chill effect. It means that maybe, you know, you are... Uh, measuring the temperature and the thermometer uh, indicates that temperature let's say is 29 degrees but because we are creating air speed and air movements at 600 to 800 feet per minute rate so by that the birds will feel cooler it means that they will feel 23 or even 21 degrees. Your thermometer shows 29 degrees, but your birds are feeling 21 degrees. It is the wind chill effect that can be created through the tunnel ventilation. To improve that, you can use evaporative cooling system. It means that to supplement tunnel ventilation, we can use some cooling pads. These cooling pads, you can see here in the black uh, color, they are attached to the uh, inlets from outside. And uh, usually they are wet because there is a pipeline, you know, 
pumping uh, pumping water through this pad so when the air comes in air should go through these wet pads and it's gonna decrease the air temperature in the summertime and by that the air can be cooled down before entering the barn. So the next topic is litter management. And I'm going to talk about that after hearing more from Tara. So see you soon.